Okay, welcome back guys. So we have another question from chapter 3 and we have this crate that has a massive 80 kilogram and held in the position as we can see. Uh, we need to determine in the A part the moment produced by the weight of the crate about point E and the B part we need to find the smallest force that apply at B that creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense about point E. Uh, it's an equilibrium question and we're going to start with the free body diagram as always for the A part but before that please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find these uh, questions helpful and let's get started. So for the A part of the question we have the weight of the crate so we're going to start with free body diagram the weight of W here and we need to find a moment about A and for this part uh, first of all we need to find the weight which is mass times acceleration of gravity and we know the mass is 80 kilogram from the question and we have 9.81 meter per square second for a G so if we calculate this we'll get 784.8 Newton for the weight and now we need can find the moment about point E. So what we have here will be the moment of the weight about point E. And as always, we call counterclockwise positive. And if we look at this, we simply can use our to the shortcut that we have, and we simply have the force times the vertical uh, distance, which is what we have in here. And from the question, we know. Uh, if we want to find this so what we are looking for is this distance that we have in here which I'm showing in blue and if we want to find that we simply have this distance in here which is 0.85 minus 0.6 uh, which will be 0.25 so now we have the force uh, the moment will be counterclockwise it will be clockwise so we have a negative sign for a moment and we'll have W times distance r which is 0.25 and we know w is what we found in here and if we calculate this we'll get 196.2 newton meter and the negative sign shows that the moment is clockwise so that was the a part of the question uh, in the b part we need to find the smallest force applied at b uh, in order to create a moment of uh, equal magnitude for what we found in the A part. So what we have, and obviously has to be in the opposite sense in order to uh, stay in equilibrium condition. So, so we need to find that force and we know moment is the cross product of R and F and in 2D will be RF times sine of alpha. And so R is the the constant amount we cannot change that but what we can change in here is this uh, angle alpha which is the angle between r and f and we know sine is something uh between so the magnitude of sine of alpha is always something between zero to one and in order to have the f uh, i'm going to show it in a different color in order to have f minimum which is what the question asking the smallest force we have to have the max of sine which will be one and the sine of alpha is one when the alpha is 90 degrees so this shows that if we want to draw the free body diagram again so we have this box in here and this will be our point e and we have a force applying at this point have a force applying at this point and in order to have that force maximum we have to have r and f so this will be our r r and f perpendicular to each other which is coming from the sine of alpha which needs to be 90 degrees and that's the condition we need to uh, satisfy in this question but we have some information in here we know this distance here is from the figure we know that this is 0.85 meter and this will be 0.5 meter and if you want to find the r 
which is the perpendicular, we, we simply need the Pythagorean theorem, which is a uh, square root of um, each side of this right triangle. And we can find our uh, 0 0.98 meter. So now that we have this, uh, all we need to do, we are trying to find a moment about point E0 since we are in equilibrium and we have from the first part the moment of the weight, which we found was 196.2. And this shows that uh, the force F needs to make a counterclockwise. That's why we have this direction for F, not the other one because that would make a clockwise moment and we need a counterclockwise moment. So the correct direction for F would be this direction. And the rest is easy. So we simply have F times R, which we already found is 0.986. And this has to be equal zero. And if you want to find F, we simply have 196.2 divided by 0 0.986 and if we do that we'll get 198.954 uh, newton and if you want to find uh, let's call this angle I'm going to show it in red let's call this angle red theta and in order to find the angle with the horizontal we so if that angle is theta, that means this angle right here in, is theta 2 and and that's because this is 90 degrees and also this one is 90 degrees too. So that the middle angle is uh, the same for these, if, for these two, that means the other angle is theta 2 and if we want to find theta, we simply can use a simple tangent reversive uh, opposite over adjacent and we can find an angle 59.34 and if we want to write down the force we'll have the magnitude which is 199 Newton and the angle in here will be what we found 59.5 so that's the final answer for this question uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any specific question that we can cover in the next videos and i'll see you in the next one